Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is the Bernabeu Stadium. Well, it is this mouth-watering fixture. Barcelona against Real Madrid. Alan, you don't need to say much more than that, really. No, the names say it all, Martin. Two of Europe's heavyweights coming face-to-face. -face. Can't wait for this one. Do you think we'll get some tempo to the game today? It's billed as a friendly. Well, I hope so. I mean, that's uh, if there's no tempo to it, Martin, it'd be a waste of time. So that's something the managers will be after. Barcelona got the game underway. Jordi Alba. Here's Kaká. Oh, great interception. That has stopped the attack. Team relying on its defenders to keep out this uh, dangerous looking attack. Morata never ever caught standing still. These home fans will be on his back all game long, you feel. Dangerous here, David Villa. Oh, he's got past his man here. Daniel Alves. Wonderful piece of defending from this fella. They're passing it well here. The Bernabeu Stadium, they actually moved the commentary position from side to side. You never know when you come here which side of the stadium you're going to be. I think it's more fixed now with the development of the ground. But one thing you do before you watch the match, you go to the trophy room. Trophy rooms. Uh, because there's so much silverware in there. It's just, uh, it can be an intimidating place. It's one of those arenas you step onto, come out of the tunnel, you look around and you can forget that you've got a game of football on your hands because it is so imposing, this place. Real Madrid have the ball. Jose Callahan. Callahan is the player who uh, showed a Turn of pace then. Clever, but not quite clever enough. Cesc Fabregas, this is the playmaker. And the forwards will love having him in their team. He'll find them all the time. Iniesta. Here's Fabregas. In with the challenge. Keeps it going well. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Benzema. Defenders need to be on their toes now. The attack was thwarted and the opposition are now on the ball. And now Iniesta. It's Messi. That's a good pass. Decent piece of defending when the danger was mounting.
Iniesta. Here is a chap who's really deadly, and the shot's off. Excellent block by the defender. The chance to attack from the throw. Sanchez. And now it's Essia. Yeah, a lot of the success of Barcelona can be traced back to the arrival of Johan Cruyff uh, as a player. And of course he returned as a manager. Got to be! Well, that's a fantastic goal! People say that you just get lucky in the box, but I don't think that is the case. He knows where to move, when to move. Yeah, and in his ability that is difficult to coach, I think it comes naturally to this lad. Chance for the game to get better now because at last we've had the opening goal. Well, yeah, and now that it isn't stalemate, the losing side is going to come out and uh, throw a few more men forward, which should lead to a better match. Now, here's a chance to get forward quickly. Look at the space he's got. Offside against Benzema. Well, Barcelona, who normally have... Uh, a lot of the ball and are having a lot of the ball here but it's not winning them this match no and unusually for them they're not being able to create too many chances and that's been their undoing so far keeps it going Neil. good gesture of respect for the player to the referee as if to say i knew you were coming my way because i did commit that bookable offense even though the play went on. Yeah, and sometimes there's no point in arguing. The player himself knows he's been around this game long enough to know that uh, he was going to get punished for that. Modric. Good pass. Really good stop at a vital time. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Can't recall Barcelona being trumped quite so often as they are by the opposition here. Their style is well-defined. And although people know about it, they can't always stop it. Very rarely can stop it. Shots on here. And it's a block away by the defender. Barcelona behind here. They have got a corner. What can they do from it? Yeah. Still danger after the save. And that's half-time. Signaled by the referee. 1-0 the half-time score. At half-time, we have got a low-scoring half, but we have got a team that's in the lead which means that the team that's trailing has got to find something extra to get uh, anything out of this match. Yeah, and in fairness, they didn't show too many signs of doing that. We might be looking at a one nil here. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. Start of the second half with Real Madrid at the moment out in front. Fabio Coentrao. Brilliant football from this team and they're working well as a unit. Maybe getting one or two extra midfield players back to help out as well. This could be an opening for Real Madrid. He needed to be quick there. Urgent work from him and he's uh, kept them out really on his own. They've linked up well. Good, strong tackle. And you can see what he was trying to do. He's being challenged now. Goes for goal! Interception here from Fabregas. Trying to screen it against the challenge now. Gone in strongly. And he's getting a pat on the back for that because that was brilliant defending in a difficult situation. PK. This crowd continuing to definitely let their feelings know. Break maybe from Barcelona. Good ball. And it's a defender who's in trouble here. He can have a crack here. He's away and clear and just, just so close to rounding off a wonderful piece of play. Well, he's completely beaten the defenders. They were just hoping against hope that he was going to miss, and he did. That's a wonderful pass. Nowhere for the opposing player to go and he's won the ball back well just to get back to Johan Cruyff and what difference he made to Barcelona well he did I mean he was obviously a fantastic player but then he uh, instigated a philosophy of how the game should be played and that remains true to there's the shot teed up beautifully for the first time shot but he's missed it
Well, it was begging to be hit, wasn't it? The quality of the pass, the weight of it, perfect. Substitution now. Might use up a bit of time here as well for the team that want to hang on to this lead. This referee's got... Referee's blown now. He wanted to play the advantage, didn't see an advantage. The players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. The player who's been carrying a yellow card is now going to be taken off. They don't want to risk a red. Benzema. Good interception there to stop the danger. Iniesta. And now Messi. Kedira with a challenge. Well read by Puyol, intercepting. And the team relying on its defenders to keep out this uh, dangerous-looking attack. Great opportunity. Lionel Messi! The goal is given, and that is the equaliser. That's a magnificent goal, and it has been coming. Yeah, they've got... got more players capable of picking out a pass and creating a chance of play. The replacement will be Cristiano Ronaldo. Not a bad substitute to have up your sleeve. He picked his spot, didn't he, the winger there. He knew exactly where he wanted to put it. Oh, he started that. It was a golden opportunity. He didn't pass it. We are. And it's Xavi. Pedro. Well executed. He's got space. That's good defending. Sergio Ramos is the man. has gone down and it could well have damaged a muscle. Kaká. Great chance. He ends with this shot. Well, we sometimes call him our doctor on the touchline. He has to report on these injuries. It's Jeff Shreve. Jeff, he's got a problem with his car. He's staying on at the moment. Well, thanks for that news, Jeff. Good support play around the man on the ball. Running out of time, but still running for the ball, both teams. Here's Essien. This is the chance. He's managed to help his side out there, but it wasn't very convincing, was it? We've got one extra minute to play of added time. Kedira. Now it's Essien. Just tried to lift it, didn't get it high enough. Well, no difference between the two sides after 90 minutes here. 